Hello, uh, I'm David Allman. I'm at Heights Guitars. Uh, this is Daryl Brandt, and uh, he is the store manager here. Also a fantastic photographer and all-around great dude. <laughs> and uh, they have a an incredible like wealth of instruments and services and such. So I thought while I was here that maybe Daryl could just take us quickly through yeah, this uh, a quick fine tour. establishment. Um, it's called our store is called Heights Guitars, but we do have more than just guitars. We have a nice selection of um, starter instruments that range anywhere from like $50 to about $150. Um, and then we have vintage and um, higher end acoustics that go anywhere from $200 to $5,000. Um, um, we're not primarily a guitar store anymore. We have drum kits, um, we have drum accessories, we have various kind of odds and end percussion instruments, uh, glockenspiels, um, tambourines. Rain Whoa! <laughs> we have rain sticks. That is brilliant. Those are kind of cool. Um, we've got keyboards. Um, plethora of higher-end ukuleles, um, bass guitars, um, bass guitar amps. We also are a chord dealer, so any chord keyboard that you would want, we have. We've got some vintage keyboard stuff. This is my favorite. It's a, a Vox Super Continental. If you've ever heard the song um, 96 Tears by Question Mark and the Mysterious. Um, they're playing that. Um, we've got vintage keyboards like this RMI and this Farfisa. We also have um, what I like to call the Ray Charles Special, um, <laughs> the, the Rode 73, which is a really, really fine um, piano um, slash organ. And, Sadly, uh, these are not for sale. Cool. <laughs> yeah, we have those are our, like, um, our um, teaser ukuleles. They're not for sale, but they're pretty. Yeah, <laughs> so, they are. So we keep them around. And uh, we have mandolins. Whoa. Um, um, some are vintage. Um, these are extremely vintage. Um, this one right here is a 1918 Gibson mandolin. Holy smokes. Um, it's, we've got it priced right now at almost four grand. Um, Whoa. And it's, when I think about it, it's older than any being that I know, which is kind of cool. Wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> which is kind of cool. Um, that's one of our more interesting instruments. It's a, a bandolin. It's half mandolin, half banjo. Um, you hear that, Brian Yost? Kind of cool. <laughs> Sorry, my friend Brian Yost plays all manner of stringed instruments, yeah, and that might have to be our next. Yeah, that's, a, that's <laughs> one good. of the neatest things in here. Um, we have all kinds of um, used DJ equipment, mixing boards. And, what are these um, rooms used for? Because you offer that. lessons, right? Oh, yeah, we do also have is an that extensive what this is for? Um, guitar, on-site guitar, vocal, and drum. Um, the lessons happen in little rooms like this one here. Um, our guitar teacher comes in here. Oh, yeah. You get one-on-one -on -one, um, instruction, um, usually for about a half hour to 45 minutes. Um, I, I do recommend it if you're a beginner um, to not just rely on the internet. You know? <laughs> I feel... <laughs> um, be, you know, I'm even t studying with one of the instructors here because I'm trying to step up my playing and get a better understanding of uh, yeah. theory and, and songwriting. Um, yeah, I could definitely go for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And yeah. we also have a wonderful guy named Ray Perello. And beatbox, I'm sorry, I saw beatbox flute lessons. I got oh, started. yeah. <laughs> we, we have a, a wonderful guy named Ray Perello who teaches drums. Um, he goes through the rudiments on a pad, oh, okay. um, and um, so we offer, we do offer drum lessons too, and that's that's a, another kind of cool thing. We don't have a keyboard teacher on site, okay. but if you're interested in like keyboard lessons, um, there's a wonderful woman named Evie Morris. She's a local musician. Um, she plays in a group called Even Steven. Um, and she frequents, you know, places like the Barking Spider and all the res, you know, the local um, acoustic-centered um, kind of like 
um, venues around town. She's um, the person that we refer people to that are interested in getting keyboard lessons. Cool. Um, so we can pretty much cover the gambit if you want to learn to play. We, we either can get you connected or we have someone nice. on site. Um, what else we have interesting? We've got the, the, the room of, of electrics um, where all of our various electric guitars are. A lot of them are, are vintage and, and quirky. Um, we've got vintage tellies, vintage Gretsch, um, real um, different types of odds and end guitars like that National there and that Dan Electro, they're, they're both really, really cool and, and very, very different. Um, that one guitar next to that Dano is a Larravee um, electric guitar and most people know Larravee for their acoustic instruments, hmm. but they also make a wonderful um, mock, kind of like Les Paul um, guitar and um, it, it sounds great. Um, we get new used and gently used gear in all the time. So it's this is the kind of place that if you don't see it the first time you come in here, the next time you come in you might see something that that's really, really neat. Um, price range anywhere from about $100 uh, on up to like about five thousand uh, dollars, wow. depending on on what you want. Um, I mean, do we repairs we have back there? So sofas. And sofas, yeah. We have comfy sofas. Um, lots of times, the parents that have kids in here for lessons um, want to just come and sit down. We do have a wonderful, wonderful guitar tech. Um, his name is Eric Erdman, and um, he does work on gear here at the shop. Um, he has a nice little work area back there, um, fully equipped to do um, just about anything you would need done to your stringed instrument. And if it's something that's um, outside of his scope where there's like major structural damage, you know, top cracks, broken necks, something like that, we also have a master luthier, um, his name is John Moscone, who has a company called String King out of Akron, and he picks up those kind of like really, really broken soles um, and repairs them at his shop in Akron. Um, so we, we offer full service um, instrument repair too for your stringed instruments and that's be it a, a, a guitar, a mandolin, a banjo. Um, he fixed an auto harp so he can, if it's got strings on it, there's wow. a good chance he can fix it. We also have a, a wonderful, wonderful craftsman named Mick Miller who does our tube amp repair. Oh. Um, we don't have anyone currently that will work on solid state, but we're working on trying to find someone to, to do that kind of work for us. Cool. And, and that's pretty much, um, that's our house. Um, we've got strings, we've got a, a plethora of pedals. Oh yeah, um, that's up front here. And Miscellaneous instruments, harmonicas, Ooh. jaw harps, ocarinas. Oh my uh, goodness! Uh, these are those. These are the ukes that yeah. uh, that I saw. They were putting up around uh, Christmas time, yeah, and that's when I really, snagged one. Really went through them too. That was that was good. Um, we're boosting up our um, literature department um, because people have been requesting it. So we just got a new batch of. Um, manuscript books and ukulele books and mandolin books and banjo books and entry level guitar books. Um, plethora. Oh of heavens, yeah. If you want to make some noise and, and get that certain kind of flair, we're an electroharmonics dealer. So any electroharmonics pedal that you might want, we, we can get um, if we don't have it. There's a good chance. Um, we have it already. We've got skull shakers. Oh, that's so cool. We've got skull shakers. Um, I don't advocate smoking, but we <laughs> have these neat little things called smoking amps. Um, they're little portable, <laughs> oh my portable amps that um, look like this. And if you have a favorite cigarette of your particular choice, um, they will put one in a box. Um, it's a powerful little thing. It sounds really, really good, and it's portable, portable, and it'll drive a 410 cabinet. 
um, not for long because it just has a little nine volt battery. In yeah. It, but it will. <laughs> That's great. It will drive it. Um, we got mics. We got. Um, we got violins right now. Oh we got yeah. A megaphone. I <laughs> a megaphone always catches my eye for some reason. We got a megaphone. Um, Where's the I'll, violins hiding? Um, down below. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, we've okay. got um, violins, um, all kinds of different mics, some new, some used, um, all in good working condition. Um, we've got other guitar paraphernalia that you might need, slides, um, wall hangers, capos, tuners, um, one spots for pedal junkies like myself. Um, just got in a new batch of... Um, String winders um, with the Ooh. cutters this time. I've never seen um, those. those fancy. Yeah, they're they're pretty cool. Um, saves you time if you change your own strings. <laughs> um, a plethora of different drumsticks. We carry mm -hmm. Goodwoods, Bader's, and uh, Vic Firth and Promark strings. Um, all sorts of cables and 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 adapters. Um, again for for pedals and for instruments and speakers and mics we have. Um, and, and that's pretty much the shop. Um, it's pretty impressive. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, it's really a nice little place and it's a nice little alternative too to um, the big box kind of stores. So we try to keep it comfy, homey. Um, we, we welcome people to come in, sit down, try stuff, play stuff. Um, I tease people when they come in that we have a strict, you must play something policy. Oh, nice. We ask you to leave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you got to play something now. Oh, I guess no, so. <laughs> well, actually, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave only so you can see the outside. But thank you, Daryl, so much for, uh, for, uh, for doing this. Supporting the store. And, oh, know, my pleasure. That we can do to help you, man. You know we're down. All right. You know we're down. All right. What, uh, on the web, let's see. At um, yeah, um, Guitar. We're Facebook. Woo! So um, you can friend us or like us on Facebook at... Um, it's just Heights Guitars on Facebook. If you got specific questions about anything, you can email us at heightsguitars at gmail dot com. Um, and yeah, that's that's us. All right. That's us. Well, thank you very much, sir. We're gonna, I'm going to take the the nice folks outside so you can see exactly where this is located. And what's the address? Uh, it's twenty one twenty eight Lee Road. Twenty one twenty eight Lee at Road. The intersection of Cedar, Cedar and, and Lee. Lee. And look. Remember to look up. <laughs> All right, thanks, Daryl. Bye. <laughs>